When you're designing your online class, do you ever wonder, what do my students actually see? Do you feel like you're in the dark? We don't think that teaching with technology should be an experiment done in a dark basement where you don't know the results. That's way too scary. So in this short video, we'll show you what your students will see and experience when they use the Foothill Zoom app and the Canvas calendar, including where they'll find information about your class meetings, how they can join sessions, and how they can schedule an appointment with you. Are you ready? Let's put on our student-centered glasses and have a look. When you use the Foothill Zoom app, you see the instructor view, including upcoming and previous meetings, and a link to all your Zoom meetings. Students will access Foothill Zoom from the course navigation menu, but they see a more simplified version with three tabs. They see upcoming meetings, previous meetings, and cloud recordings. The upcoming meetings are displayed in chronological order with the next upcoming meeting on top. To join a meeting, students select the join button. After the meeting is over, the link is removed from upcoming meetings and the meeting details move to the previous meetings tab. If you set up your meetings with the option to record to the cloud and you recorded the meeting, a link to the recording is automatically added to the previous meetings tab and to the cloud recordings tab. Students can watch the video directly from the link provided on either the previous meetings tab or the cloud recordings tab. Depending on your Zoom account settings, when students select the link, they may see either a video or a video and audio recording. There are some other features of the Canvas and Zoom integration that help our students. The Foothill Zoom app is integrated within Canvas to remind students of upcoming meetings, helping students manage their time and workload. In addition to notifications on the dashboard, students will see scheduled Zoom meetings on the home page in the to-do list and on the syllabus page in the course summary. When students click on the link provided in the to-do list of the course summary, the Canvas calendar will open to the selected meeting, allowing students to click on the link to join the meeting. Because all scheduled Zoom meetings are in the calendar, students can also go directly to the calendar to join a meeting. Okay, there's one other aspect of the Zoom Canvas integration we thought you'd like to see from the student perspective. As we noted in the office hours with Zoom and Canvas video, you can also use the calendar to schedule appointment slots, allowing students to sign up to see you in office hours. When you schedule a new appointment group, students receive an email letting them know new appointments are available. Students can sign up by selecting the link in the email. We know though that students don't always read their email. So we wanna reassure you that the appointment group will also show up in their Canvas to-do list and the course summary with active links that take students to the Canvas calendar. From the Canvas calendar, students can select the Find Appointment button to see available slots. Once they find a time that fits their availability, they select the Reserve button to sign up for that slot. Reserved appointments will show up on the student's calendar, on their to-do list, and in the course summary. If you intend to use appointment groups to allow students to sign up to meet with you, it's a good idea to include instructions for reserving an appointment and joining a meeting. You can add instructions to a Canvas page, then add the page to a module or to your syllabus. The online learning team would be happy to help you add a tutorial video to your instructions. We hope this look into Zoom from the student's perspective helps. See you next time.